What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part We basically uh, got tackled the Celadon gym went back to Lavender Town because we need to take some stuff That's what we're gonna do in this part and uh now I like to sell some stuff first first of all we're gonna sell the uh Find it we're gonna sell the nugget because we don't need that Nice money out of that and uh We'll also sell TM21 because we don't need that and uh I, yeah I think that's really all we need to sell but um so, uh, yes, yeah. so what we're gonna do is, um, what we're gonna do now is, um, go into Pokemon Tower. I also put, uh, Monimol in the front for a particular reason, because I like to get him up a few levels, and, uh, I like to kind of show you a little thing you can do with, use Gen 1 mechanics against it, but, um, I play from, came to pray for Michael Perry, sniff Simba, can't stop crying, and, uh, you come to pay respects, bless you. And uh, this lady says, my Growlithe, why did you die? And uh, yes, yeah, so this is where all the buried Pokemon are. So this is essentially a cemetery. Uh, this is a pretty infamous part of the game. Let's say, and uh, there's our trainer. Now, before we fight our trainer, remember how I said I was gonna go into the theory about his Raticate? Yeah, we are gonna actually uh, go up to him. Hey, hey bear, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. So, uh, yeah, uh, the gist of it is Blue's no longer gonna have the Raticate. It's a popular fan theory that he came to Pokemon Tower to pay respects for his dead Raticate. And I'd say of a lot of the Lavender Town fan theories, I'd say this one is the most believable. Hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna try to see if we can lay down a rock slide. And this should one shot it. Yeah, did one shot it. So yeah, he's gonna spice up his team a bit also. So he's gonna use a uh, Gyarados. So it's a nice, th nice way to bring on our uh, Franklin. So uh, Gyarados is what Magikarp evolves into, and it has a times four weakness to oh, to Electric. Another reason I wanted an Electric type on my team because you're gonna fight quite a bit of Gyarados in the later portion of this game. Anyway, so we didn't get a level up, but uh, we're gonna fight uh, Growlithe. So uh, let's try to see if we can peach up a level. Because Growlithe is gonna be uh, level 22. Um, again, we're very over level for this point in the game. And even one shot it. Nice. Uh, let's just uh, try to see if we can do the thing against the Kadabra. Use it later on a body slam. This should get it up a level. Because uh, why did you use teleport? Okay. And Peach is level 36. I want to get her up a level because she's going to be pretty useless uh, this area. So let's just pull out Hawkwind for against his Ivysaur. We're, we are nine levels ahead of this Ivysaur. So, uh, yeah. So uh, just one Drill Peck will take this thing out. And we defeated Blue. What? You stinker! I took it easy on you too. We got 625 poker dollars. How's your Pokemon coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I get ready to get going, but you got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Anyway, so that, there are, that reminds me, I've tackled the new Pokemon you can find in the Pokemon Tower. You can find Ghastly and you can find Haunter. Ghastly is a phenomenal Pokemon. The problem is that you have to trade it to get it fully evolved, so I'm gonna pass on it. And Cubone, if you don't already have a ground type, maybe this is a good idea. I've used Cubone. Honestly, if you want a ground trap, I just prefer Doug Trio, but um, yeah. And also each Pokemon in this area, I guess I can kind of show it off when you get a wild encounter, but um, they're gonna give like 300, 400 XP. So this is a great candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the whole game. At least you have the self scout because if you don't have the self scope, you're just gonna see like random, you're just gonna see like ghost sprites. Anyway, so a channel sent out Ghastly. It's gonna be a level 22 Ghastly. So yeah, I'm gonna try to see. Now, you may be wondering why I'm trying to use a ground type against a Ghastly if you're a newer Pokemon fan. Well, in the older Pokemon games, we're talking like the first three generations. Um, Ghastly will not have the levitate ability, so which means in Gen in Gen One, Two, and Three, I think it's it's a good idea to use Dig on a Ghastly. So uh, 
Yeah, so the the levitate ability does not exist yet in this game. Let's just say so we're gonna use older Pokemon mechanics to our advantage. All right, so Chandler wants to fight, and Chandler Sano. They're all gonna have like all Ghastlies and Haunters, and when you get Pokemon out in the wild, that's gonna be most of what you encounter. So um. We're still very old. Like I said, we're still very over a level for this point in the game. I think we should also get a level up, but, um... Anyway, so, um... Now, I want to see a pretty imp... I think, uh, where's the infamous trainer? Okay, it's not in this room. Be cursed with me, Guar. They all give, like, kind of possessed dialogue and all that, but there's a pretty infamous trainer in this uh, area that I want to fight. But, uh, once again, they're going to have a ghastly, so, uh... Just, uh, use Gen 1, use older Pokemon mechanics to our advantage, and we win the day. I think even Fire and Leaf Green, they don't have, they don't have the Levitate ability, so, yeah. Regardless, if you're playing this or the remake, you can, it is a good idea to use Dig on a Ghastly. And we defeated Chandler. Now we get uh we get an elixir. They'll actually heal PP which is good in case we run out of PP for uh dig, which we very well can. I think there's something over there, but I forget exactly what it is. Um We haven't seen a single wild Pokemon yet, but because I already said this, this is a great candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the whole game. Animal is uh, level 32. Anyway, I think level 35 he'll learn it. He'll learn slash. So uh, yeah, great move right there. I want to see what's in uh, that thing. Found an awakening, which very nice. Very nice. I went looking. There is our first wild encounter, but uh, this is against a hunter. So uh, yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said uh, you can get get a lot of XP in this room. Plus. The Haunter doesn't have the Levitate ability either. Not a very good Haunter Sprite though. Like, some of the Gen 1 Sprites, even the revised Gen 1 Sprites, they're not very good. Like, I'll go to the, we'll go over the Blastoise one when we get to it, but uh... Anyway, if you go over here, we, we get to fully heal our Pokemon, so uh... I guess that's just standard, that's just a standard Ghastly, so uh... Yeah, so I that that one gave uh the haunter gave like 500 XP, so this one's gonna give like 300. So yeah, another great candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the whole game. Yeah, 312 XP. That's a great great candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the whole game. If I had to give my honest opinion, you shall join us. Who wants to fight and Chandler Seno Gasly. Yeah, they're all gonna have ghastly. So I think a couple of them have haunters, but um. Thankfully, since we healed, we can just get our P We got our PP back, so that's another. We don't have to use the elixir just yet. We're probably gonna have to use it some eventually, but just not yet. What a nightmare. Anyway, so um. Go and heal. Now you can actually uh kind of this train over here and just kind of go over to that staircase. Give me your soul. Chandler wants to fight and Chandler, this one actually is a haunter. So, uh, yeah, it's not as actually as level as the wild haunter we found. So, uh, I don't think Cubone is commonly found. I think Cubone maybe has a 10% chance of appearance. You have to go looking if you want a Cubone again. Um, and again, like if you want a ground type, I honestly just prefer I honestly I honestly just prefer Doug Trio. Oh, it's this trainer right here. Give me blood. Yeah, this is a pretty infamous trainer when it comes to dialogue. Channel lost a fight, and Chandler sent out Gasly. And uh yeah, we're gonna 
I, think, I don't think we, we might not even have to use the elixir because this is, I think this is the last room before uh, the main Pokemon. I want to try to see if we can get one up one more level. Anyway, so uh, Ghastly is going to... Another Ghastly. I, we're finding a lot of Ghastlies, but... Uh, but hey, they don't have the Levitate abilities. That's all that matters. You can, all, you can also use a Psychic type area in this area and do well with it. And you may be wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, we're level 33, but... um, Only in Generation 1, Psychic is not weak to Ghost. In fact, in Generation 1, Psychic is immune to Ghost. So because of that... um. There's an X accuracy, but uh, because of that, but because of that, um, you can use Gen One mechanics to your advantage and just bring a Kadabra in here and get a, it'll get a lot of XP too. So, uh, level 24 gas is not, so um, I guess I have to step up. But um, I, mean, I think we've already seen gases of that level though. But um. And we defeated Chandler. I think I'm just gonna use, uh, I think this is the last of the trainers. Anyways, this is the very last of the trainers, and, uh, oh, bruh. And, uh, yes, this is a Chandler, so, uh, Chandler sent out Ghastly. I think that's gonna, that's, like, that's probably the only Ghastly it has. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get a level up. We're gonna fight a boss Pokemon, but uh, let's just say I have to kind of explain the gist of the boss Pokemon. Um, it's the it's the grown it's the grown up Marowak. Also, what Cubone evolves into, but um, on a rare candy. Well, actually, uh, I'll say because we couldn't possibly use her, so we're gonna Peach because uh, yeah, it's mainly because uh, Psychic. Ghost is immune in normal times. And I'm also going to switch out because, uh... So, here as we go. Be gone, intruders. Now, if you don't have the self scope, you cannot go past this area. Except if you have a polka doll. If you have a polka doll, you can skip this area entirely. Anyway, this is a Marowak. Level 30, you cannot catch this Pokemon. Uh, you have to kill it for the XP. So, uh... We get like 600 XP out of this, so uh... Ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed, it departed to the afterlife, and uh, yeah, it's pretty dark dialogue for a Pokemon game, but uh... It's pretty much one of the gist what makes Lavin Council so infamous, but um... How close would Peach be to level 38? Not sure if that's enough to get her up a level. So what we're gonna do instead is uh, try to see if we get Jolteon for level 31 because that's our lowest level. Plus, I think you do fight some gold bats in the next area. Next area is all Team Rocket. What do you want? Why are you here? Rocket wants to fight and Rocket sent out Zubat. Yeah, level 25 Zubat. That should also be a Crobat. So, uh, yeah. One Thunderbolt took it out. And, uh, we should be... We should get Franklin up level. I think it also level 31. It learns a Thundershock, which maybe I'll just... I'll just get rid of Tackle and kind of have Thundershock as a secondary electric move. And there's the gold bat I was looking for because um, I guess you two will say I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Honestly, fuck you two. Like I, I hate that I made that reference. Like um, I am not a U2 fan at all. Like I think it's mainly just personal grudge because like there was that time they forced their album on everyone's iTunes. And like, I fought tooth and nail to get that album removed. There was like some special page you had to get that album removed and it was all processed. Like, uh, yeah. And that kind of permanently tainted U2 for me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure permanently tainted U2 for a lot of people too.
Anyway, Franklin's level 31, and uh, it's gonna learn Thundershock. We're just gonna get rid of Tackle and replace it with Thundershock. So, just so I have a backup electric move. Gonna have a uh, Drowsy, so maybe we'll get a uh, Peach MX. We'll give some Peach MXP. Peach is only like two more levels from evolving, so uh. Yeah, so she'll be a fantastic Pokemon when she knows Double Edge and she's a Wigglytuff, so uh. Please, no more. Anyway, so um. Pokemon are only good for making money. Stay out of our business. Anyway, so, um, who's the closest to a level up? Not you. Definitely not you. Yeah, let, let's get you up a level. There's only one more, uh, rocket left, so, uh, we're kind of taking a gamble with this one. And uh, rocket sounds good, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna get the I don't think we're gonna get that level up, unfortunately. But um, maybe if we see, maybe if we oh ratted I serious? Go out a freaking raticate, and that'll get us a level up. There's the Raticate we were looking for, so, uh, we're just gonna Bubble Beam. Raticates are so annoying. I think this is also, like, among the last parts of the game you even face Raticates. Oh, Hyper Fang Miss, that's good. And Bowser grew to level 34. He is only two levels away from evolving, so, uh... So yeah, we'll have a fully evolved Pokemon by the time uh, probably the next probably by the next part. And we defeated Rocket. So uh, don't fight us, Rockets. Um, you're not getting away with this. Talk to the old guy. Hey, you come to save me? Thank you, but I came to my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Bones' mother. I think Marowak Spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home Pokemon house at the foot. We get this. Fair. Your Pokemon, your Pokemon is quest me fail without love for your Pokemon. I help your quest. We received a Poke Flute, which will actually awake the sleeping Pokemon in the bottom out. So, uh, we're gonna hand it off for this part of Pokemon Red. So, next time on Pokemon Red, we're gonna go south. And then, uh, try to see if we can wake up that sleeping Pokemon so we can advance more in this, uh, game. See you guys then.